Um, so I'm just going to run through the development of a strategic framework to improve equity in the National Screening Service. And so the National Screening Service provides four screening programs, breast, uh, cervical, bowel cancer screening and diabetic retina screening. Um, we've been delivering uh, screening services and equitable projects and screening services for many years, just the many health promotion interventions that we have delivered. But we wanted to develop a strategic framework to look at how could we best uh, direct our efforts going forward. Um, we want everyone to understand what screening is and to participate in screening if they want to. How did we go about developing the framework? Well, we did it using a co-production methodology. Um, it was informed by contributions from an advisory group made up of internal and external uh, stakeholders. And we did wide stakeholder consultation with the community statutory and voluntary sector and all of our MSS staff. And key to the, to, to the development of the framework was engagement with our PPP, patient and public partnership representatives as well. Um, we developed the framework over about a nine month period. It was launched this week. Um, throughout the consultations, we started to identify themes and areas that we need to work on to address equity in screening. And on the right of the screen, you can see the priority areas that we came up with in the development of the framework. So we identified five priority areas that we need to work on to improve equity in screening. So they are research and data, education, training and development, partnership, accessibility and inclusivity, and communications. So aligned to each of the focus areas, each of the priority areas are a number of focus areas. So this just gives a snapshot of what um, some of the detail that's in the framework. So, for example, under each priority area, we have about five statements that uh, indicate areas of focus. So, for example, you can see there under research and data, the first one, it, it talks about the importance of staying up to date with evidence on equity and screening by reviewing available research, data, epidemiological analysis, and then conducting additional qualitative and quantitative research. Um, the focus areas really help us to fine tune the work that we will do, um, and that will be in the development of action plans. So these aren't actions as such, but actions will be developed on the back of these focus areas. So what, what are the next steps? So the publication of the framework really is the first step in improving equity and screening. It was published this week along with a number of accessible documents. So uh, we created an easy read, a plain English, um, an Irish sign language version, and an accessible version of the framework. And in the past couple of weeks, we've established a new committee, an equity oversight committee, and they will help guide the development of the action plans and the implementation of those. Um, here are some screenshots of some of the versions of the framework and some um, uh, contacts for further information and just some acknowledgements then of the final slide, so some acknowledgements there to the project sponsor, the advisory group and the team.